in this video we will discuss about resolution in predicate logic hope you remember the last video we discussed still proportional logic <coughs> man of x and negation man of spot or contradictory since man of x and man of spot can be unified so these are contradictory so to use the solution for expression of the predicate logic we use the unification algorithm to locate pair of filters that cancel out we also need to use the unifier produced by the unification algorithm to generate the resolvent clause. To resolve two clauses, for example, if you take man of Marcus, <coughs> negation man of x1 or mortal of x1, you can write this with the substitution of x1 in the place of Marcus. So after substituting x1 to Marcus, you can get in this manner. So if x1 is equal to Marcus, negation of Marcus will be false. You cannot cancel then the proportional logic, like as you do in proportional logic, that is negation and uh, it will cancel. For a given x1, either negation man of x1 or model of x1 to be true. For this to be true, we can now conclude only that model of x, the model of Marcus should be true. So <clears throat> these are the facts already we saw in the interaction. To use in the resolution proofs, you must convert them to clause form. This has been converted to clause form. Resolution proof is of the statement. Prove fake Marcus of Marcus Kamasi. So you are taking negation. So to prove this case, you have to start with negation of heat. So we have started with negation of heat. This is the resolution concept. So I have started with negation of heat. <coughs> then in the fifth statement, you can see loyal to x to comma c zero in the negation of Roman of x two. So that has been substituted over here. In uh, x two place, you're substituting Marcus, and in, to match, you're taking the third Pompeian and Roman of x one. And in two, you're taking Pompeian of Marcus. Like this, you can come to a conclusion of the contradiction. <coughs> Try to assassinate Marcus Kamal Caesar. This is a resolution proof that has been uh, proved. This is another option. This has been derived with including the two facts, additional facts in your database, persecute and H. After converting this to logical clause, you can prove this statement like this. So in this point, you have to concentrate on the concept of standardizing variable. What is the need to standardize variable is? For example, if you take this negation for the of x comma y and negation of women of x. <coughs> that is, if a person is a father of x and y, that implies he's not a negation of women. If he's a father, he will not be a woman. For this, you have to standardize a variable by substituting this negation mother and mother of father here in the place of x and y have to substitute the variable because this y variable occurs in both class one and class two here it comes in y here here also so you have to standardize that for this you have to produce a contradiction the next uh, concept is why you have to write price of a substitution because the solution provides a good way of finding a refutation proof without actually trying all the substitution that the Hadron's theorem suggests, but it does not always eliminate the need of finding more than one substitution. So to prove that Marcus said some ruler, you can try each substitution and find any contradiction. So you can use here of uh, A, B, and then say you can uh, able to see a contradiction of this. Like this you can try <coughs> various several substitutions. The next concept is question answering. Question answering can be arrived with the following uh, fact of uh, resolution. The question asked is, where did Marcus die? How you will get the answer is to finding an own statement that matches the terms given in the question. See, Marcus and Dyges, uh, first that has been given in the terms that has been given in the question, you have to find, match that, uh, find in the state, found in the statement. So we can uh, solve by uh, Saying a Valtuno erupted in the year, <coughs> year 979, X is in Valtuno. Like this, you can prove and give an answer. 
and uh, since it is a bulk unit, we can also include another uh, new representation for your database, by including an event. In the last topic is national detection. It is a way of doing machine theorem proving that responds more closely to processes used in human theorem proving. Uh, and the resolution, as you see, it is an implementable proof procedure that relies on its simplicity. That is, you're going to convert everything to class form. When you're going to convert, you will lose some valuable heuristic information. There is some important information that is found in the original statements will be lost. For example, if you take all judges who are not grouped or well educated, you are uh, representing this form as for all of x, edge of x, and a negation of group of x implies educated of x. If you convert this to class form, you can see a way of reducing that if someone is not a judge by showing that he is not put a not educated. That is, whole meaning has been uh, interpreted wrongly. There is a difference, there is a dis uh, disadvantage in converting to class form. Your specific information has been compiled, has been lost in this transformation. So, you can't able to produce a natural way of detection. This is another disadvantage for that which you are improving, have to improve more.